The world of machines is one that is constantly evolving, and mostly for the better, because the more advanced that machines get, the more precise they can be, the more work they can do, and the less risk to people that pilot them. But for machines like cars, they are something that need to have a human pilot in control. Or at least for now they do, because various people and companies are trying to make it so that cars can drive themselves. And Elon Musk is very much on board with that concept and is trying to implement it in various ways with his Tesla cars. Allow us to show you how Tesla's self-driving autopilot works. What is autopilot? That's a good question. Because hearing that someone like Elon Musk wants self-driving cars on the roads and that autopilot is his plan to make that happen can convey different things to different people. So let's have Tesla go ahead and describe it all for you. Autopilot is an advanced driver assistance system that enhances safety and convenience behind the wheel. When used properly, Autopilot reduces your overall workload as a driver. Eight external cameras, a radar, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and a powerful onboard computer provide an additional layer of safety to guide you on your journey. Cars built between September 2014 and October 2016 include one camera and less powerful radar and ultrasonic sensors. In short, it's like many other cars on the road today in that the Tesla vehicles are able to monitor the road and help you when you make a small mistake or don't see something on the road. But it does go beyond that. With their full self-driving capability, the car can also be summoned to your location, despite it being far away be able to identify street signs and stoplights, help you get onto off-ramps, or even give you lane suggestions and more. Though, there's a catch. The currently enabled features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. The activation and use of these features are dependent on achieving reliability far in excess of human drivers, as demonstrated by billions of miles of experience, as well as regulatory approval which may take longer in some jurisdictions. As these self-driving features evolve, your car will be continuously upgraded through over-the-air software updates. If you can't decipher the lingo, that means that there is some things that it can't do as of yet. But Tesla is hoping that this will be upgraded over time so that it can 100% be a fully functioning, self-driving program. Safety features of autopilot. Tesla cars are known for their safety features. They constantly and consistently get five-star safety ratings, and the autopilot also brings more safety to the list, including automatic emergency braking, detects cars or obstacles that the car may impact and applies the brakes accordingly, front collision warning, warns of impending collisions with slower moving or stationary cars, side collision warning, warns of potential collisions with obstacles alongside the car, obstacle aware acceleration, automatically reduces acceleration when an obstacle is detected in front of your car while driving at low speeds. Blind spot monitoring, warns when a car or obstacle is detected when changing lanes. Lane departure avoidance, applies corrective steering to keep your car in the intended lane. Emergency lane departure avoidance, steers your car back into the driving lane when it detects that your car is departing its lane and there could be a collision. Now. Some of these are standard in other car models, but it's still no less impressive, especially since some of these features can save your life on the road. And Tesla didn't have to go and implement them at all, but they're doing it because they want people to feel as safe as possible in their cars. And if the cars themselves can help steer them towards safety, then more power to them, right? Traffic light and stop sign control. Easily one of the more interesting aspects of the autopilot feature that is coming it's still in beta apparently, is to detect and understand the upcoming stop signs and stop lights. Traffic light and stop sign control identifies stop signs and traffic lights and automatically slows your car to a stop upon approach while using autopilot with your active supervision. When traffic light and stop sign control beta is enabled, the driving visualization displays upcoming traffic lights, stop signs, or road markings at intersections where your car may need to stop. As you approach an intersection, even if the traffic light is green, your car will display a red line to indicate where the vehicle will stop and the vehicle will begin to slow. At this time, traffic light and stop sign control does not turn the vehicle whether you are in a turn lane or have your blinker on. 
that last line is key because it indicates that they are planning to make it to where you can go and turn it just with your car doing the work. Don't knock the stoplight slash stop sign thing though too, because as we all know, people sometimes go and decide to run red lights or accidentally get distracted and miss stop signs. So by having an alert when one is spotted or by having the car stop the vehicle on its own power to prevent an accident, your safety and wellness goes up. Smart Summit. Earlier, we talked about having the car come right to you. It's called Smart Summit, and here's how it works. Smart Summit is designed to allow your car to drive to you or a location of your choosing, maneuvering around and stopping for objects as necessary. Like Summon, Smart Summon is only intended for use in private parking lots and driveways. You are still responsible for your car and must monitor it and its surroundings at all times and be within your line of sight because it may not detect all obstacles. Be especially careful around quick moving people, bicycles and cars. To activate the feature, press and hold the Come to Me button. Alternatively, tap the target icon, set the target destination of your choice by adjusting the map, and then press and hold the Go to Target button. You could stop your car from driving at any time by releasing the button. Smart Summon works with your Tesla app and your phone's GPS to operate. You must be within approximately 200 feet of your car to use. Smart Summon requires the latest version of the Tesla mobile app. 3.10.0 or later. To be fair, this is honestly a small step towards a self-driving car, but it's a meaningful step because the car is coming to you under its own power. And as a result, it's self-driving. So now imagine it doing that everywhere and not just in a confined parking lot. Auto Park, a now classic feature in many cars, Auto Park is exactly what you think. It'll go and park your car for you with some Tesla touches, of course. If your car sees a parking spot, a gray P icon will appear on the left or right hand side of your instrument panel, depending on the location of the space. Auto Park detects parallel parking locations when driving below 15 miles per hour and perpendicular parking locations when driving below 10 miles per hour. To use Auto Park at the same time, press on the brake and shift the gear selector into reverse. Keep your foot on the brake Start Auto Park will appear in blue text on your touchscreen. Press this to start the feature and release the brake and steering wheel. Auto Park will then begin to maneuver the vehicle into the parking space by controlling your car's speed, gear changes, and steering angle. But you should remember to be alert and monitor the backup camera view to check for obstacles. Once Auto Park is complete, the car will let you know it is complete and shift into park. You can override Auto Park at any time by taking control of the steering wheel. It's smart for Tesla to have this given that many other car brands have it as well. Every little bit helps in terms of quality. Navigate on Autopilot. Another feature in beta currently is that of Navigate on Autopilot. Here's the description of that. Navigate on Autopilot is designed to get you to your destination more efficiently by actively guiding your car from on-ramp to off-ramp including suggesting and making lane changes, navigating highway interchanges, and taking exits. It's designed to make finding and following the most efficient path to your destination even easier on the highway when autopilot is in use. While still in beta, it will be yet another useful feature when the time comes. In conclusion, now that you know all about autopilot and its various features, what does this prove about what Elon Musk is trying to do with his cars? It means that Tesla is trying to make the most advanced cars on the planet, so much so that they're testing all sorts of interesting and new features to make the car safer, more reliable, and more efficient. Which, if you think about it, is the overall goal of Tesla itself. Is Autopilot fully functioning yet? No. But when it does, it'll be the next great achievement for Tesla, and it will further indicate why they are the company of the future. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at Tesla's autopilot program and how it's a base plate for what self-driving cars might honestly be? Do you think that Tesla will get the program going soon enough and thus allow self-driving cars onto the roads themselves? Or do you think that there are still some kinks in the system that need to be worked out? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.